I think the most alarming statistic in this report was the fact that 40% of children in Michigan are chronically absent, meaning they're missing at least 10% of school days. Michigan continues to trend in the wrong direction in various areas of education. That's according to the latest data from the Michigan League for Public Policy. The Kids Count data looks at the well-being of children and offers solutions to the problems identified. Michigan ranks in the bottom 10 states when it comes to education. Ann Cunin is the Kids Count Policy Director at the Michigan League for Public Policy. There are many factors, Cunin says, as the reason why Michigan ranks so low in education. Fewer than half of three and four year olds are enrolled in preschool. Just about one in four fourth graders is proficient in reading. About one in four eighth graders is proficient in math. And there's another issue plaguing Michigan students. We actually saw a slight worsening of our uh, on time high school graduation rate following, you know, about a decade of improvements in that area. Not graduating on time leads to other problems for the state. Cunin tells me that the economy relies on a workforce that is educated. That has the reading and math skills, that has a high school degree and even, you know, a, a bachelor's or an associate's degree in some cases. So not having students be prepared for college or for the workforce is definitely going to have some long-term consequences for Michigan. This data shows that kids not showing up to school and not graduating on time can be traced back to their home life. The share of children living in poverty at 18% is higher than the national average. Not having your essential needs met at home, not having a safe way to get to school or enough food to eat is absolutely affecting our educational outcomes. Where do we go from here? Some of it is going to be about investing more in education. We had a historic education budget last year in Michigan. You might recall the Opportunity Index is a, a new source of funding for schools in order to help schools that have large numbers of at-risk student population. Now the data also showed 63 counties saw a decline in the share of students proficient in third grade reading during the pandemic. Michigan also ranks in the bottom half of states when it comes to a child's well-being. We are 34th in the country.